up the pipe. It's about an hour or so until the sun sets and I'm gonna go surf. It's not super crowded. It's kind of smaller. That's why it's not like firing at all by any means, but it's really pretty out. So I'm gonna go try catch a couple waves and see how that goes. I don't ever have expectations when I go surf pipe. I'm never like on the beach, like telling myself, like you're gonna catch the best wave ever. Like, I just don't do that out here. I kind of go out and if I catch waves, I'm super stoked. And if I don't catch waves, it's okay. Because a lot of times I'll sit out here for hours and hours and I won't catch a single wave. And that happens to me kind of a lot. But this winter so far, I've had some really fun sessions. So we'll see how this session goes. If I can just get one fun wave, I'll be super stoked. Okay, if I get any clips, it's gonna be what's next. Do you like doing this workout? Yeah. Whew. Yes. We're going uphill and we're not even close to the steep part yet. We started from back there. Now we're going all the way up, all the way to the top. Whew. After this, we're gonna have thighs of steel. I have slippers. I don't even have shoes on right now. I did. I'm doing this with slippers. Volcom slippers. We made it to the top of the hill. Now we are going to go all the way back down. Whew. That was a good workout. What a way to wake up. Oh, look at the chickens, Kai. They're coming towards us. Hi chickies! Hello chick chicks! So me and my sister went and biked up the hill. It was a really good workout. How do you feel Kai? I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're watching the horses. And now we're going to the beach. And I realized when we're going downhill that only my front brake works. So hopefully I don't do a cartwheel over my bike. <laughs> I gotta be careful going downhill. So the other day I did something extremely spontaneous and this is what I did. I brought home two little foster puppies. I thought it was going to be a great experience and so far it has been great. They are the cutest things in the world. Look at them. Hi guys. Hi. Oh. Mr. Snuggles wanted to go next to Kai Kai. He was having separation anxiety. And this is Mr. Nugget. <laughs> he's, he's curled up into a little ball next to me. So Totu is cleaning this fish. He caught it yesterday and we're gonna eat it tonight. What's the name of this fish, Totu? Uh, it's a white papillo. This fish is really pretty. And when it's big, it, this is what um, grows up to be what they call GTs. Giant trouble. 
famous fish. Like a small size, good for the barbecue. All right, a quick little side note. My husband, he is an amazing fisherman. He can stay in the water all day, and he would if he could. But yeah, he loves spearfishing. He loves jigging. That's his passion. He's really great at it. This is a dog tooth tuna he caught. Not a big one, but nonetheless, he was stoked. Here's an alua he caught spearfishing. It was huge. It's like the size of me. Um, here is an ono, which was also like the size of me. That's a dog tooth. And here's an uku. So I have the fish, all the fish guts and everything that we didn't use on the fish and I'm throwing it back into the ocean so that we are being sustainable. I'm going to throw it near a beach that I live really close to. Okay, it's fine rain. Oh. There it goes. I just finished dumping all the fish guts and everything else on the fish that we didn't use. And it's pouring rain right now. It's really cold. I'm going back to the house. We're gonna go to Foodland, get some rice and some vegetables and other things. And then we're gonna go up to my friend's house, Kiana, and make dinner. Woo! <laughs> it's so cold. respectful to if you're taking something from the ocean you have to give something back so since we took the fish the fish that we didn't use we throw back into the ocean so nothing goes to waste we don't want to waste anything I just wanted to add that okay now I'm gonna go back home The chef, aka Teotu, prepping the fish. While we're waiting for Uncle Teotu to make us dinner, we're playing in concert Uno. We're gonna play Uno. The rip off Uno. <laughs> this it's is. Good. It's in concert Uno. So. Uno is actually my favorite game. She's been playing it since she was like probably our age. Yeah, I have been playing it since I was your baby. So now we're gonna.
Thank you so much, Rob Havasi, for painting me this painting of my wave that I got right after my heat at the back door shootout. This was the best wave of my life. Um, I would have been super stoked if I could have got it during the back door shootout because I probably would have gotten the wave of the event, but I got it when my heat ended and it was, it was over. But it's okay because this wave is priceless to me and it means more to me than anything I've ever accomplished in my surfing. This wave is just like, I'm still mind blown about it. I'm so stoked. As soon as I get my own house one day, I'm going to be hanging this in my wall. Right when I walk through my front door. So I can look at this wave every single day.